Hello, I'm David, David Ludlow, and today I want to talk about the Excel spreadsheet and producing progress charts. Now, if you've got a project where you're keeping a record of how the project's going, for example, tasks that's in your project and tasks completed, that type of thing, you might want to keep progress um, in percentage terms or you might have a spreadsheet where you're keeping a record of income and you want to know the progress towards the target. So I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is. I'm going to give you four examples today and hopefully one of them will suit you. One of them is an in-cell option where we are just putting small bars for progress, for example, one bar for every 10%, and then we're going to have a look at three chart types. So let's get started. So here's the end product. We've got three charts, a donut chart, a pie chart, and a bar chart. And then over on the left here, we've got these lines representing 10%. At the top is our table for the actual charts so in here we're going to have a function that helps us find the percentage of all these y's down here compared with the tasks so let's create a new sheet and at the top you need to type something like progress and then remaining and in here is where we want our percentage. So let's type something like 40% just to get us started. And then the remaining would be that figure taken away from 100%. So equals 100% minus that figure there in B1. Press enter and that gives us 60%. I just want to take the decimal place out there so that they both look the same. So now whatever percentage we type at the top there, 55, they both should add up to 100%. So that's how we're going to create our charts. Then down here in cell A4, I want to have a little progress chart by putting one pipe or one straight line for every 10%. Let's repeat the percentage here. So equals and then B1. So we've got our percentage. I'm just going to center that. The function we're going to use is one called repeat function. So type equals REPT and open bracket. And what this does, it just repeats text the number of times that you stipulate. So make sure your text is in quotes or speech marks and I'm just going to use the pipe which is the straight line okay comma now if I put five here and close the bracket we'd get five of those repeated but what I want to do is base it on the percentage that we've got so let's just go back and edit that let's point to the percentage that's B4 in this case now don't forget a percentage is always less than one. A hundred percent is one and everything else is less than one. We can't have a number that's less than one because this repeat works on whole numbers. So what we need to do is multiply this B4 and if we multiplied it by a hundred, a hundred percent would give us a hundred of those bars. In other words, one bar for every one percent. But I don't want that because that's too many. I'm just going to multiply it by 10. So that will give us one bar every 10%. So close the bracket, press enter, and we're on 55%, aren't we? So we're on 55%, so we should get five bars. One, two, three, four, five. Now, so this stands out, I'm just going to highlight it and Let's make the background black and the font white so it stands out. Let's make them bold and make it just a 
touch bigger so we can actually see it. I just make column four a bit wider, then I can put these in the middle so it looks nice and neat and we can see the progress. And if I type 100% at the top, we should get 10 bars there. Let's just put that back to something like 23% and we've got two. So that's our first progress, nice and easy to watch the progress with these bars. Now what we're going to do is insert some charts. So to do this, you need to highlight your data table at the top here, including the headings and the percentages, then go to insert. And we're going to do a bar chart. So if you come up to the column chart here and select more column charts, then you can come down to bar and then choose this one here which is a stacked bar that's the one we want and then you need to come over and choose this one here so they're stacked together click OK and let's bring it up here for you there's your chart so what we can do is tidy this up a bit if you click on the legend and press delete on the keyboard click on these percentages down the bottom and delete and then click on these lines here just click one of them and they all get selected press delete and then over on the left that number and delete so we're left with just the progress chart now click the title and up in your formula bar type something like progress and enter we're going to take this orange away and make it maybe a light gray so you click the orange segment or series once and just click it again to make sure that it's not selected the whole chart and then you can right click and come down to format data point and it opens this format data point dialog box and come over to fill I want to remove the border so let's make border no line and fill will have a solid fill and I want a nice light gray here yeah, let's see what that one looks like maybe a bit lighter than that so let's go one lighter and then close this down and there is our progress chart and if I put the percentage up to 45% then that chart should move up let's just make it a little bit better let's have a percentage here as well so what you need to do is click the side of the chart so it's actually selected and then we want to insert a text box so we go and grab a text box and let's draw a text box here when you've drawn it come up to your formula bar type equals and just click into that percentage cell and press enter and there it is there I'm just going to center align that and put it in the middle and then probably just adjust this slightly so that it's really in the center and let's make the text blue and bold and a bit bigger and then click away and there it is and because we've put that embedded into the chart when we move the chart that percentage moves with it as well and it, let's just go and test that it works let's move our percentage to a different percentage 34 and there we go our percentage really easy to do let's move that one out of the way and have a go at another one so again highlight your data over here insert and this time we'll have a pie chart so let's choose a 2d pie chart I'll just bring this over here for you again we'll tidy it up click the legend and delete on your keyboard click the title and let's call this one progress again and then this orange segment I want that gray so let's just make sure you click it twice so it does select just that part and then right click and format data point we want to go to fill and we'll have a solid fill and it's remembered the gray that I've picked in the last one and then we want to make sure there's no border 
so no line. Then click the blue section, make sure you click it twice to make sure it is just a blue section selected. I want to have a no line on that because what happens is you often get a white space in there if you leave the line in there or the border. And then we'll have a solid fill and we'll have a different color this time. Let's have a lighter blue, something like that. And then close that one down. And again, I want to put the progress here. So select the chart, go to insert and select text box. And this time I'm going to put it actually in the chart. So let's draw that in there in the formula bar, type equals and click into the percentage cell and press enter. Again, I'm going to center align that and put it in the middle and then just move the box a bit so that it's really in the middle. And then we'll have a dark blue this time for our color, bold, and let's make it bigger. Don't make it too big or there won't be room for the 100%. And let's just click away from the chart and now try it by changing the percentage. Let's have 66% and there it is chart moving round and we've got our percentage in the middle okay one more to do let's move this one out of the way and now have a look at inserting make sure that your data is selected and then go to insert and back to pie charts but this time select donut let's bring this here for you we're going to do all the same things click the legend and delete click the chart title and in the formula bar let's have progress and then click the orange segment make sure you click it twice so that it's just that selected and then right click and format data point let's go to the fill we'll have a solid fill and we want to make sure it's that light gray again and then no line for the border. Then click the blue part, make sure you click that twice and we'll have a solid fill for that. And this time we'll have a green, let's have a green there. And then we'll have no line for the border. Obviously you can play around with these as much as you like. I'm just trying to keep it nice and simple here. Close this one down and then select the outside of your chart and we're going to insert the progress again. So let's go to insert, text box, draw your text box in the middle there, formula bar equals, click the progress and press enter. And there it is again. We're gonna put that in the center and middle and we can just adjust this slightly if we want to. And then we'll have a green text, same color as the progress, make it bold and let's make it a bit bigger. There we go. Click away and there's a nice progress. Now I prefer this one. Let's just have a look at it. Let's put 75% and there it is, 75%. So now we want to make this a little bit more dynamic by linking this percentage to our spreadsheet. So let's just create a simple project task table. So I'm just gonna call this project and then I'm going to put completed and then we'll just simply at the moment, just call this task one. And if I drag that down, we'll have, let's say 14 tasks there. And then any tasks that are completed, I'm just going to put a Y in there. Let's put them halfway. Just going to put that in the center so it looks a bit neater. And then 
I'm just going to turn this into a table. Control T is your shortcut for a table. And there's our table. This makes it a bit more dynamic because if we add more tasks down the bottom, then the table extends and our little calculation we're going to do in a minute also extends. So we don't need to worry about extending our formula. So what I'm going to do is divide the number of cells with something in, in other words, non-blank cells, by the number of tasks that we've got here. So we're going to use the count A function to count all the non-blank cells in both of these and divide one by the other. So we get our percentage. So let's come up to the progress. So instead of typing it in, we're now going to put a little formula, start with equals, and we want to count. So it's count A. Count A counts all the cells that are not empty, basically. Open your bracket and highlight all of that range just there. Close the bracket and then divide by the number in the task range. So it's count A, open bracket, highlight the tasks that we've got, and then close the bracket, press enter, and there's 50% because we've got seven tasks completed out of 14. So if I put a Y in here, the percentage starts going up for every Y that we put in to say it's completed. Now you don't have to use Y's here. You could put somebody's name or their initials for who's completed the task or the date the task is completed. Just using this count counts cells that are non-blank basically. And of course we don't have to call it task one to 14. You could actually give the task a real name. So there is your four methods the repeat function to repeat text. Then we've got three chart types to give us our progress. You can go and have a play around with this. If there's any the ideas you come up with, please put it in the comments below. If you did like this video, please make sure that you click that thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any in the future, please subscribe to the channel. And if you click that bell, you'll be notified of any new videos that I upload. So thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.